Thank you, thank you. Phase AI is dropping today, October 18th, as of the posting of this video. Uh, there's quite a few videos already out there for it, so you've likely had a good look at it so far, but here's another one for good measure, this time with Zach. There's a pretty solid difference between how things look for our two testers uh, between Tobias and Zach most of the time, which is really helpful to get the ball's characteristics locked down and avoid a good or bad matchup affecting our overall idea about something. To start with the details, the center is Royal Crest Lanes in Lawrence, Kansas, and the lane condition is the Kegel Chromium Challenge pattern that comes in at 42 feet, 25 and a half mils. The graph is linked in the description. I'm going to fast track the details again. If you want the numbers, they're on the website, but we know the strong symmetric velocity core by now. AI buffs it slightly. A uh, 14 pound version, the RG still does jump up quite a bit. And once again, we're seeing TX16 Pearl, which makes it on paper almost a straight up Pearl Phase 2 because it's the same cover formula, and it's using the new Power Edge compound, which seems to be a return to the old 1500 grit polish finish with a new and better compound. Uh, to avoid bogging down the review, Storm has a lot of information on Power Edge on the website. I have the slideshow link down below, and I talked about it at length in my preview video, so now let's just get to the ball reaction. We've talked about this before, but just to recap, Tobias is pretty hit and miss with symmetric balls. This one ended up being too clean for him on this pattern, looks amazing on the house shot, but it doesn't really like oil that much. Uh, but again, symmetric balls and him don't mix sometimes. He didn't get along with the Optimum Pearl at all, even redrilling it and still ending up in the same place with it, and that one's been pretty good for pretty well everybody. Uh, Zach gets along with just about everything though, but he rolls it more, so the stronger stuff usually ends up just being way too much for him. This is the kind of ball that should fit well for him, and while it does look better for him than it does for Tobias, it's still just too clean. I think a lot of that is how glossy the ball is at box. I really don't understand the ultra mirror shine the balls come at. I mean, I do from a, to a certain extent from a pro shop point of view because box surface is for looking good on the wall and being an easy way to communicate the intent of the ball, but it's not good for ball reaction, especially when they come shiny. Now on the fresh, on this pattern, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look that great either. It's just way too shiny. Too little traction in oil, a bit too much response to the dry. Now the actual ball reaction looks great. The surface is just making it too sensitive. So if you're going to leave it at box, it's not going to be a ball for the fresh on most things. On the good shots, it looks really good. It's a slightly tumbly, arcing kind of reaction, very similar to the Exponent Pearl, just stronger, on paper at least. Other people have mentioned this too, but it rolls a lot like the Phase 3, and on paper, it should be pretty close. Uh, now, having been a huge fan of the P3 myself, this one is definitely cleaner and weaker, but the ball roll or reaction shape is virtually identical. It's a little too sharp to use from straight, if you have a bigger rev rate that is, but it doesn't seem to hit a wall or have a limit going deep. You just need to give it enough time to get back up the hill. Easy solution would be just hit it with a 3000 pad. You're still going to get the shape, but make it much more controllable and really open up the usage window. I'm sorry the promotions are repetitive, but my sponsors are the reason I get to make videos, and the best way you can support me is by supporting them, and this stuff can actually help you out too. Please check the description for all kinds of information and links and discount codes. I've gone out of my way to cut back on the advertising as much as possible, but it's just part of the deal. I know we compared it to the Summit Peak and Tobias's review, but we're going to do it again because that's the closest thing on paper in the lineup right now. Plus again, Tobias and Zach get fairly different reads on things, so this will either clarify or confirm our initial impressions. This, however, was one of the rare times that the peak looked pretty similar for both of them, and the Phase AI really doesn't look that much different either. It still rolls the same, the difference just lies in their games, and the ball reaction differences seem natural or like what you would expect. The peak is definitely the earlier and stronger ball, and while it's not one that really wants to get that deep, it does so a lot easier or needs a lot less friction or dry than the Phase AI needs, but the Phase still rolls pretty strong, so I'm not sure it's quite a full step down from the peak, it's more of a half step, and with as strong as the Exponent Pearl is, Peak to Exponent Pearl is more of a natural step down. Phase AI, again, I think is a very low two ball or a very high three ball, depending on the general strength of ball you throw. I think most often it'd be a three ball. You'd have to have a lot of revs and or slower ball speed to get it up into two territory. But if your big ball is something like an Optimum Idol, this could be in consideration to be a ball down from that. Once again, the Phase AI is available now, and it releases all by itself, which is a great idea, honestly. Let it have its own spotlight. Uh, remember to check out the description for all the goodies and stick around for the outtakes and online comments Zach had. It's fun, but it's not just fluff. This video was brought to you by Panda Bear Productions. We put the... <laughs> ...in bowling. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. 
a little bit quick from that spot to move right off the off the light hit and then it hooks so go back left a little bit and slow down Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see if I can strike twice from there. Probably needs a little more friction for like when I would actually use it, but. So I moved that one that, that last one that almost nine pinned, I moved left and then seven tenths just cause it missed it. Does shape way better than anything with reactive gloss. That actually like continues the motion. I slow down and give it enough time. It looks pretty good. Pushing it a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if I can go a little bit more to the left. Uh, might hit the limit there. Not sure how much slower I can throw it. 